What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite two fellow earthlings, Austin Hires and Kelsey, my beautiful wife. Today we're going to interview five different people that Kelsey set up through Facebook. Facebook. Kelsey set up all the interviews 30 minutes apart. We're going to go ahead and show you how we do our interview process and we have a special different, um, what are we going to call it? Test. We have a, a different test, a, a different element we're going to add to our hiring process today and we think you guys are going to like it. So I'll show you what the test is here in a second. Let's go ahead and choose our weekly prize. I'm going to go ahead and let you just choose one baby. Don't look. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Choose a prize. Choose a prize. Boom. Oh, what do we got? Five dollars. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. A five dollar bill. Who wants to win that? So this five dollar bill is a 1963 five dollar bill with a red stamp. Go ahead and comment down below the keyword red. R E D. Comment down below and you have a chance to win this $5 bill. We're going to be asking them all the same questions and reviewing the answers. We will also be adding another element to our hiring process. I think you guys are going to love it, so stay tuned to see what we're doing to make sure we're hiring the right people for our company. If you're just starting out and you have some people that you want to hire on and you don't know if they're the right people, we can help you out with that ask the right questions because we've had experience hiring people for five years now. Over and over and over again and fire, rehire, fire, rehire. And that's just the way it goes. Woo! Almost knocked the camera over on myself there. Let's get into the interview process. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you what's going on here, what we're going to be doing. This is our plan. They're going to be entering through that gate. She's going to tell them, and basically she's going to point straight back, and she's going to go um, say he's inside the uh, silver office there. The door is on the right-hand side. The only way they can enter is right through the truck and the connex there. So they're going to be coming this way. And as you can see, there's a sign, a big old sign, a magnetic sign we put up here. And this is our new element we added, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It says yard trash can. If you can see that, if you see it, pick it up, all right? And then the trash can is actually gonna be knocked over like this. There's just like a napkin and a bottle and some other garbage in there. And they literally have to step right over that to get to my door here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have the GoPro recording. Um, probably just gonna set it over here somewhere. Okay, so I've got my camera up on my phone to see the front door. Alright guys, it's 9.02 and our first interviewee, the first person that's coming in for interview, was supposed to be here at 9, they're not here yet. So, at this point when they show up late, it's already a mark, it's already a check mark that they've been late to their interview. And most likely I'm not going to hire the person. My wife is taking care of a call right now to see if he's still coming in for the interview. I'll update you guys in just a few minutes. One person off the list. They're five minutes late and they're not even answering their phone to let us know if they're still coming in. So we're on to the next. My wife is giving them a call to see if they want to come in just a bit early and uh, I'll keep updating you guys. Nine thirty-three, guys. This is why we have at least five people coming in for interviews each day. The first two people haven't showed up yet. Nine thirty-three. The guy was supposed to be here at nine thirty. No call. No show. First person did the same exact thing. Now we're on to the third person. Usually, out of five, we'll get two or three people that come in. So we'll see what happens with the next three people. All right, guys. 
We've got our 10 o'clock person, it looks like, that just showed up. My wife is showing him back. Come on in. Hey, what's up, hey, man? How's it going? How you doing? Good. I'm Nick. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, cool. So, are you you're the one that's supposed to be here when? Like, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Perfect, man. Cool. Thanks for coming in, bro. Yeah, no problem. So, tell me about yourself. So, Kurt. answered the questions in a honest way and not just like trying to say whatever I thought you wanted to hear me say. Okay, so that was Nick and he seems like he's gonna be a good worker. We have two more people I believe, maybe one more person, let me check. All right, actually we have one more person if this person doesn't show up. Nick will be the only one out of five people that showed up. Nick did fail to pick up the trash can. There's literally a sign, only one path they can take, and he failed to pick up the trash can with the trash, stepped right over it, and came into the interview. So, that's something to consider. But being he's the only one that showed up, I might just have to get some more interviews set up for tomorrow. If you guys are enjoying this video and the content within it, tap the like button for me. You can tap it hard or you can tap it light. It likes it both. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anywho, anyhow, I want to go ahead and go over a recap of this video, guys. The first person, eh, didn't show up. Second person, eh, didn't show up. Third person, eh, didn't show up. Person number four, they showed up on time. They showed up and came in and gave a good interview, but literally just stepped right over the trash ignored the sign, came in and did his interview. Nick sounds like a great hire because of the fact that he's going to school, he's working hard, he's got a fiance, he's got a mortgage and four dogs to take care of. So it sounds like to me, he's gonna be a very responsible person, come in on time and work his butt off to make the money that he needs to make to support his family. He's gonna go ahead and work Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I did hire him. Actions speak louder than words, so we're gonna let him come in tomorrow and show us his action. I may record that, and I may not. I know this is a little bit different of a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was informational for you. That way, you guys can kind of see how other companies hire people. I don't have this strict hiring process, but we are getting a better and better hiring process as we go on and move up in the business world. When you're just working out of your house or your garage, it's very difficult to give people interviews. Most of you, correct me if I'm wrong, most of you just hire people on the same day. You have them come in, they go out and work and show you how hard they work and that's their interview, right? You wanna be a real company, look like a real company, smell like a real company, act like a real company, have questions planned like a real company, have them come in and sit down and talk with you like a real company. That way you can get that vibe from them, that first vibe, and then you send them away, you don't hire them right away. That's what we have figured out is when we hire people on the spot like that, hey, come on in, you get right to work, here's your shirt, blah, blah, blah. It makes people kind of comfortable with the business right away, like super comfortable. And if you go through this process of having them sit down uh, and then letting them know you'll give them a call at the end of the day to see if they got the job or maybe at the end of the week, however you want to do it. And then when you give them the call, let them know whether they got the job or not, they're super excited. They don't have this comforting feel like, yeah, I just came in, I got the job, it's super easy. You don't want them to feel super comfortable. So that's why we've come up with this process, guys. And like I said, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to all of my videos and hit the notification bell for the future videos coming up. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Don't forget that this week's prize is a $5 bill with a red stamp on it. $19.63, $5 bill. All you have to do is comment down below, red, R-E-D. And you can get a chance to win this money. Literally $5, guys. I don't know how much it's worth, but it's probably worth more than the face value. That's just a guess. 
Yep, it smells like money. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good rest of the day.